What's up, guys? Welcome back to another G Fet Jake Captain Trox podcast. But this one comes with a twist. Today, we don't have G Fet Jake with us. We have Joe. <laughs> Big Joe. Big Joe. He's a bounty hunter, I guess you would say. Or sure. What? Or are you a Jedi? Uh, actually, I'm a Jedi. Let's go with that. He's like a, Jedi, a Jedi, not a bounty hunter. <laughs> I get. Or he's a Jedi bounty hunter, one of the two. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had Jedi as bounty hunter. If any of you guys know of a Jedi that's a bounty hunter, let us know in the comments. Besides me, you know, someone, yeah. someone else. <laughs> well, um, anyway, uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of uh, the new Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel down in Florida. So it looks really cool and it's an immersive hotel experience where the hotel is the ride itself oh, man. and you apparently you get two free meals that are in that are included in the main payment for the hotel okay. you get breakfast and lunch for free dinner I think you have to pay for from what I've heard yeah. And this hotel looks pretty cool. What do you think of it, Joe? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks awesome. Like, one of the pictures uh, shows, like, the bedroom. And, I mean, it's all decked out, like, um, you know, Star Wars. It's got, like, beds that are, like, in the walls. You know, I feel like, I don't know if I've seen that in the movie, probably. <laughs> I think <laughs> one of the they, episodes. they may have shown it. I'm like, sure they took it from something, but. Yeah. It looks, it looks legit. <laughs> One thing I want to see Disney do is bring stuff from the Clone Wars and have that in the park as well. So, be, the Clone Wars being an animated series, bring that animation to real life and have Camino and have it where there's a Camino and hotel where you can stay and be a clone trooper and it's an immersive experience where you can be a clone trooper or an immersive experience where you can be a Sith or a Jedi where you stay in the Jedi Temple. It sound like they'd be very different experiences. I know. <laughs> when you go to like boot camp to be a, a clone trooper. <laughs> That'd be a when lot of When you're like fun. inducted into the Sith uh, <laughs> order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom, guess what I did today? <laughs> yeah. Mom, I uh, when did I became a Sith Lord? <laughs> you what? Yeah, I learned how to force choke. Or, you know, <laughs> oh, on man, day that's... one, who knew? <laughs> Yeah, who did? <laughs> yeah. So it looks really cool. I I want to go there. I'm going to be jealous if G Fet Jake, when he, when and if he gets this internship, if he gets to work at this hotel, I'm going to be so jealous of him. <laughs> I think I'm going to hate you a ton, Jake. I think I'm going to hate you a lot. But we'll still be friends. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they serve uh, blue milk for breakfast. It sounds place. like they do. Yeah. From what I've heard. Oh, man. See, it's legit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. So, um, since the fans don't really know anything about you, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Uh, do I tell them about my being a Jedi or like uh, my life here on Earth? Anything. <laughs> Anything you want to tell them about. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm from, originally from Utah. I moved out to New York to study music. Um, got married out here. And, yeah, I mean, and I met Toby at church. Uh, we've been, we're good buds. He's a great guy. Uh, and he invited me to, to come on this podcast. I... I love Star Wars. I'll admit I'm not, I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not the most knowledgeable. Like Toby was telling me about these comics and stuff. And I'm not totally into that, but like, I have a bunch of Star Wars Legos at home. You know, I loved the Star Wars movies growing up, and I've watched some of the recent ones. So, okay. so he invited me. I was like, yeah, I'll talk about Star Wars. <laughs> and I've never been on a podcast before either, so this will be cool. That's good, that's good. So what Legos, what Star Wars Legos did you have? Oh, let's see. One of the, I don't know if it was the first one I got, 
But I, I had one of the, I think it was one of the original um, X-Wing Lego sets, like with the gray, <laughs> the like dark gray bricks. It's like pretty square feeling, but. Okay. Um, I think I know which one you're talking about. And later I got, I got the one, another X-Wing that comes with Yoda's hut. Okay. And that one's like more white, I think, and it has like the moss hanging on it and stuff. Yeah. There's that one. Our family got the the Millennium Falcon, um, like I think the first one when we were kids. The Millennium Falcon is pretty cool. They yeah. actually came out with a new Millennium Falcon. If you're ever um, by the mall, you should go to the mall and check out the Lego store. They have really cool Legos. Oh no way! Jake's channel is actually focused around Legos. Oh. And, um, we talk about Legos sometimes in the podcast, but we try and focus on Star Wars and Legos, mostly. Oh, the oh. last episode, we uh, didn't really... We focused on that, but we also focused on how he might get this internship and what he would like to do there and stuff. And gotcha. Then we brought in Harry Potter and stuff, so... <laughs> this podcast is... Mainly Star Wars slash Lego oriented, and um, it's fun to do, and it's the first time I've ever done a podcast with anyone, and it's been a fun experience, and I hope it goes for a while, and if it doesn't last for long, that's fine, but if it lasts for four or five years, that's great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and like you telling me about it, it sounds like a really fun thing, you know, like um, you just get together and talk and like share what you know and what yeah. you like. Like, it's cool, we can just do this nowadays, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so um, do you have Disney Plus at all? Oh, my uh, my wife, she kind of has access to it through a family friend, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. We haven't watched a lot of it lately, but um, but we d we do have access to it. Yeah, I have a friend who let me watch it on his account. Oh, there you go. So um, I've watched the Book of Boba, the Mandalorian, the Bad Batch, the Clone Wars, and then um, they have on here. The original Clone Wars, where is it? Oh, no way. I'm going to have to steal my wife's computer. And <laughs> watch like the original cartoon Clone Wars they've got? Yes. Dang. Find it. Right here. I've watched a bunch of... Oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's the original Clone Wars. But as you can tell from that picture, to... This one, the newer one, is a much bit better upgrade than the original. Oh, oh, maybe it's this one I've, harsh, I've seen parts of. I like find clips on YouTube sometimes, yeah. you know. They also have the Bad Batch, which is the same style as the Clone Wars animation. Oh, okay, and yeah, that's really recent, right? Twenty twenty one. I remember hearing about that coming out. Do you, I, do you like that one? Yeah, I, I heard there's going to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi show as well. Oh, yeah? And that will come out on Disney. Will it be animated or...? It'll be a live action, live I action. Oh, cool. Yeah. Me and my uh, friend... Well, last podcast, me and my friend were talking about how Obi-Wan um, looks like Jesus and a bunch of the... Oh, yeah. Anyway, I uh, found this thing online. They mistook Obi Wan for Jesus. Oh, you know what? I've seen this. I th <laughs> right there, Obi Wan. <laughs> Apparently, someone thought he was Jesus. You know? Yeah, I, I've seen that. It's unless it's a it, unless of course it's a Star Wars fan who slipped it in there just for. You know that could have been it. That's what I. <laughs> If I was making that program, I would have done that. Would you? Would, would you have done that, do you think? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, you know. Yeah. Well, the guy who plays Obi-Wan, let me uh, find... Mr. McGregor? Yeah. He actually 
plays Jesus. Um, this is him playing Jesus. He doesn't look anything like Jesus. Whoa. Looks like some guy who is very confused about life. Yeah, I I just I still want to see him like pull out a lightsaber. It looks like he's on Tatooine or something. <laughs> I <almost>. know, right? <laughs> wow. But me and Jake were talking in our in the fourth podcast about how um, how the there's this guy who gave a picture of Obi-Wan to his grandmother and she thought it was Jesus so instead of her going up to the picture of Jesus in her times of need she goes up to a picture of Obi-Wan oh no <laughs> so I guess when she dies instead of Jesus saying welcome to heaven he's gonna say hello there <laughs> hello <laughs> oh man yeah she's in for a surprise I yeah think. she is she is <laughs> Or Jesus is just going to whip out a lightsaber. One of the two. Yeah. Oh, boy. Could Jesus actually be a Jedi? <laughs> if you watch Narnia, Jesus is a lion named Aslan in that. Oh, what he's if, represented, yeah. What if he's represented as Obi-Wan in Star Wars? I never really thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. Could be. I mean, I don't know. Is George Lucas religious? Or? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, one thing that you might find interesting. So, as members of the church, we know there's 12 people on the Quorum of the Twelve. Yeah, 12 there's, apostles. For the Jedi High Council, there's also 12. Oh, yeah? I didn't know that. Yeah. So like in that ring of Jedi Masters or whatever, yeah. the, the, the council, the, the 12. Yeah. Wow. So. And I think I heard, uh, well, you know, I think I heard maybe this wasn't true, but a rumor was going around for a while that um, Yoda was partially, like, inspired by uh, President Spencer W. Kimball. I've heard that. You've heard that? I, yeah. I don't know if it, it's probably not true, honestly, but... <laughs> It's it's close enough. I, I'll say it's true. It's believable, it, at least. I think it's <laughs> believable. It might be true. We never know. Yeah. And if it's not true, oh well. Yeah. Well, but that would even like kind of go with that theory a little bit, you know, <laughs> being inspired by a church. Yeah. Yeah. It could be inspired not by the church, but it could be inspired by stuff in the Bible. Oh yeah, well. like, yeah, that, sorry, that's what I meant, like, yeah. yeah. It could also be inspired just by himself. Yeah, you know. For all we know, uh, he's a Jedi from outer space and came here and wrote his own history. He was like, you know, I could monetize this. <laughs> he's like, these people don't know about us, so I'm gonna make them know about us. Yeah, I'm gonna make and a ton of money. We all think it's fiction, but it's all real. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying it is fiction because it's not. It's all real. <laughs> Though, uh, Joe here might think I'm crazy for saying that. Well, I mean, I told you all I'm a Jedi bounty hunter, so, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the fans don't know this, and you might find this interesting as well. Okay, let's The way see. I came up with my name is I was trying to think of a good YouTube name. And Captain Trox was the one I can't, I ultimately ended up with. So I, when I ended up with that, I decided, you know what? I'll find something from someplace. And my friend has Bakugan, and there's a Bakugan called Trox. Oh. So I was like, I'll use that as a name. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering where you got Trox from. Like, yeah, and it's it's a pretty cool name. I like it. Yeah. And it's not Star Wars related or anything. Yeah. But it draws from Bakugan, and I, when I saw that, I was like, that's the perfect clone trooper name right there. Huh. Nice. I could have gone with a generic one like Ninety Nine. There's a <laughs> there's a clone called Ninety Nine. In the third season, I love the the third season. Is this of the Bad Batch? Or? 
No, Bad Batch has only had one season so far. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> but this is with the um, Clone Wars. Oh, okay. Uh, season three, episode one, Clone Cadets. And then episode two, Art Troopers, both have Clone Trooper 99, and he's a defective clone, oh. and he wasn't able to become a clone trooper. But those are two of my favorite episodes, and because of him, the Bad Batch became a thing, and their um, clone group 99, or whatever, I can't think of the, their proper name but oh. that's why they're called the Bad Batch because they're defective clones but they're not as defective as 99 was gotcha. so 99 was a great character to have I miss him even though he was in two episodes I he was like the Yoda of those two episodes oh yeah yeah kind of sounds like me and uh, <laughs> me and Qui-Gon when I when I was a kid the the <laughs> episodes one through three were co or were coming out, you know, and and I thought I was like, man, Qui Gon is so cool. He's my favorite, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I found out he died, you know, at the end of the first. <laughs> he was in one episode, so I'm like, you know what? I think Yoda's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> well, Qui Gon <laughs> is actually in the fourth season. No way. Yeah. Oh, the cool. guy who plays Qui Gon's in the fourth season. Oh wait, like the actual actor. Yep. Oh wait, I'm is on he? The voice. Does he? Is he a voice actor for Qui Gon? Or yeah, yeah. Or wait, would he? No, he'd be dead then, right? No. He's still but alive. I mean, yeah, he's still alive. Huh. I'm gonna have to go and watch these. <laughs> Actually, it may still be third season. That it was a. Citadel Rescue was actually pretty good, the Citadel ones. Okay. That's episodes 18 through 20 in the third season. And then, oh, um, Overlords, episodes 15 through 17 are really good. Those ones have Qui-Gon in them. No way. How oh, cool. And then the fourth season has a bunch of really good episodes. I, I like the um, episodes one through four. Those are my favorites in that. Okay, and why is that? Um, they actually have the first underwater battles in those. Whoa. And those are pretty cool. Do they use lightsabers? <laughs> yep, they do. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. And then there's... Um, Darkness of Umbara, episode 7 to episode 10, which I like as well. Oh, yeah. And Cr General Krell, who takes over for, um, not Obi-Wan, for Anakin, he is a Jedi who turns bad, and it's our one of our first times in Catherine Jedi who's gone rogue. So, oh, yeah. Those are pretty good episodes. Okay. So, um, who's your... So, what's your favorite Star Wars movie that uh, you've seen? <laughs> you know, coming into this, I thought you might ask that. Uh, you know, I feel like I'll get a lot of hate for this, but in the past, I've set up The Phantom Menace. <laughs> okay. You know? And, you know, I know it's like, it's not the classics. I had mentioned earlier, it's what I grew up with. Um, I feel like, I mean, it's, it's, it's the one that's like... I don't know, it doesn't really have any, like, kind of raunchy stuff in it, you know? It's got the pod racers, I thought that was cool. Like, Darth Maul, you know? Yeah. Like, I can see, you know, I mean, it's kind of maybe a weird one, you know? Yeah. And, like, people would hate it, you know, after uh, it, it being so different from, like, the the first trilogy, you know? But that's kind of what I, that's kind of been my go-to, <laughs> but I, I mean I love stuff in all of them. My so. least favorite one is definitely Rogue One. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. My second least favorite is 
Attack of the Clones. Because okay. that one, it didn't seem like it had a storyline, but it had a storyline at the same time. Yeah. But it wasn't the strongest one out of them all. Yeah. The first and third one are the strongest yeah. in that trilogy. Yeah. And I like the second one because it helps bring the Clone Wars in as a series um. and introduces it. But as the, as to the strength of the movie, it's the weakest one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the main thing I, I liked about that one, I think, was uh, seeing Yoda jump around in that fight. <laughs> that was actually in the third one, Revenge of the Sith. Well, no, he fights Count Dooku in the second one, too, and he goes Oh, yeah, crazy. I forgot that, sorry. No, you're good. It's been a long time for me, too, so I was like, wait. But, yeah, he fights uh, Emperor Palpatine in the third one, too, yeah. right? So. Yeah, I actually bought a... Um, book that has a bunch of Star Wars questions oh, that yeah? me and Jake, I'm going to ask him if he wants to do this in a podcast where I'll read some questions and he'll read some questions That'd be fun. and we'll see who gets the most questions right and possibly do that every few podcasts and then people will see who knows more Star Wars, me or him. Yeah. I think it's me. Yeah. No, I mix some stuff up sometimes, like and that's just all right. now. <laughs> that's all right. It's this is a huge uh, story we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it huge is. universe. You know, it definitely is. It definitely is. Have you watched any of the Book of Boba Fett? I haven't actually. I haven't. It's really good. Yeah. They introduced um, Cad Bane from the Clone Wars. Oh uh, yeah, I think that was one of the videos I watched on uh, on the channel. It, like. Yeah. Was, is it just a, how many episodes are out now? Is it just a trailer or? It's all all the episodes. Are oh, they're, out. <laughs> oh, they're all out. Okay, I have some serious catching up to do out there, folks. <laughs> well, um, Jake, he posted on his channel this video from the cat from the book of Boba Fett, where he. Yeah. He's, he loses his mind. Are you seeing this? Cat freaking bang! Let's go! Let's go! I love this video. He's <laughs> got the most. Let's go! It's Jack <laughs> Bane. And that video has gotten it the views are 800.8k views really on that. yeah and 114 comments yeah I think I, I, I saw that one um, and I yeah I, I think I remember seeing it, it was like wow this one has a lot of views <laughs> yeah so, can you tell me well may, I mean I, I need to like go watch the series but who is Cad Bane watching that I was like who is this guy <laughs> He's a bounty hunter, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, he is one of the main bad guys slash semi good guy, I guess you could say, of the Clone Wars. Okay. And he's one of the guys that everyone loves. All the fans love him. Oh, okay. And of course, with him being in this, everyone lost it. Yeah. Everyone lost it. And Jake, he posted that at the right time. His views just skyrocketed on that video. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a great video. I, lo I love his reaction to it. Yeah. <laughs> Jack freaking Bay. Are you guys seeing this? It's Jack Bay. <laughs> He's just loving it. Yeah. The guy, and then his head finally rises. You can see a little bit. You can see his face. You're just like, like, oh, it's Cad Bane. I love Cad Bane. Yeah. I, I used to be able to do a good Cad Bane voice. Oh, so he's got a voice, huh? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can pull it off right now. I actually don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> 
So that'll be in the next episode that <laughs> me and Jake filmed together. I will try my Cad Bane voice. Do some practicing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Star Wars has a lot of good things to it and a lot of storylines, a lot of stuff. And in our third podcast, I talked to you guys about how the librarian couldn't have saved Baby Grogu, or Yoda, as people call him, Baby Yoda. And that's actually a lie. There's two versions of her death, which I forgot. I only counted the one with Plo Koon's niece seeing her die. And with that one, she dies with Plo Koon's niece watching. But there's another one where she's escaped Order 66 and she comes back to attack the Jedi Temple and of course she gets killed by Vader in that one. So there's two versions of her death. One of them she could have saved Baby Yoda. The other one she would not have been able to save him. And in my opinion I feel like it was Barisafi who saved him and not some random librarian lady. <laughs> well, she's not random, but still, she's not one of the main characters I would have assumed to save him. And uh, with our fourth podcast, I talked to you guys about... Well, actually, I'll save this for when Jake is with me. And then... <laughs> I can tell him too. I told Joe, but uh, he knows what I'm referring to. <laughs> so I'll save that for when Jake is here with me on the podcast again. Sounds good. So uh, when um, when you heard that the Washington football team was changing their name to the Washington Commanders, what did you think of that? <laughs> Well, I guess I, uh, I don't watch the news enough or something. I actually hadn't heard that. Does that tie into Star Wars somehow? Or? Yes, it will. No way. So, uh, the, that leads into the next question. Okay. Who is your favorite Star Wars commander? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, man, I mean... Are we, this is like clone commander type. It can thing. be clone or any anyone, for that matter. Can you give me some examples? For some reason, I'm thinking of uh, who is it? Captain Fat Faz? Faz? She's in the last. I think trilogy. she's a commander. Yeah, I think by so. the last one. She's not necessarily my favorite, <laughs> but like there's she comes commander to Cody. There's Gree, there's Rex, but he then gets demoted back to captain, but... Oh. Um, there's also Wolf, and there's a bunch of them out there, so... Is, is uh, Admiral Akbar a sea commander? No, he's an admiral. He's not done. <laughs> in the, it's in the name. You're commander right. Cody, Admiral Akbar. I was hoping he had, like, a dual title or something. <laughs> but... Well, I guess you could say he's the commander of the fleet, so... Yeah, I guess we could go get away with it, <laughs> yeah, saying him. Probably be some fans going after me, I guess. Probably for a lot of things by now, if you're still listening, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe him. Who's yours? I would say Commander Cody. Okay. But if you're one of the fans that say Captain Rex counts as a commander, even though he was a commander for, like the most 10 minutes <laughs> then I'll say Commander Rex oh okay but I'll go with Commander Cody uh, for those fans who don't count Commander Rex yeah <laughs> so yeah when, and why did Commander Rex get uh, demoted because he didn't follow through with Order 66 oh one of the other clones demotes him oh okay yeah so. well that would do it I guess <laughs> yeah Execute Order 66. I, I pull a pretty good Palpatine. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, no, no, no. <laughs> you will die. Yeah. 
But yeah, I think that uh, is the end of the podcast. I think we've okay. reached the end of it. So well, thank you, Joe, for coming. And uh, <laughs> this is Captain Trox and Joe signing off. Signing out. Thanks for having me.